Hey guys, this is Ryan from rm-sounds.com and I'm back tonight with a quick little tip for you. Just a little workflow tip that can save you quite a bit of time actually. And that is a way to save your parameter mappings on your VST and audio unit plugins. And what I mean by this is your common uh, parameters like a filter cutoff on a synthesizer or a threshold on a compressor. Things that you're either going to want to automate all the time in your projects or if you have a control surface like an APC40 or something that automatically maps out to these parameters, it would be handy to have them accessible all the time. Um, and so the way you do this is to drop in um, an instrument or effect, VST or audio unit. I'll pick Yuhi's Ace Synth, pretty cool plugin. And for those of you that don't know, if you want to automate something in Ableton other than their built-in plugins, you click this little triangle here and then click configure. It'll bring up the plugin window and from here you can select your different parameters that you want to automate. And you can see they'll show up in these green boxes right here. Once you turn configure off, you can now play around with them and if you check out the plugin window, if I move my cutoff slider in Ableton, you can see it's also moving the cutoff knob in the plugin window. They're now, now synonymous with each other. And uh, so that's all cool, but unfortunately you can't save that. As soon as you close this plugin or load it up another time, you're going to have to do that all over again, which isn't a lot of work, but it would be nice to have these things uh, saved. And so a little workaround is to just select Command G or Control G on a PC, and or you can uh, just right click and select Group. And now it's put it into an instrument rack, which you can save by clicking on this little disk down here. Click that disk, type in uh, name of the plugin, and sorry, I already did this in a failed video once before. Um, then just delete the plugin, and if I bring it back by going into the Ableton Devices window and uh, click on the instrument rack drop down, you can see Yuhi Ace right there. Double click on that, and it has it has loaded up the plugin automatically, and it has also loaded up the mappings. So that's really cool because now you can switch between all your patches, and it'll always leave your cutoff attached to the plugin, your resonance, your delay mix, your tune too, and it's really handy when you get plugins that use um, macros, like something like Native Instruments Massive has. Um, a set of eight macros that are assigned in every in most presets to a ton of different parameters and they can really quickly shape your sound and uh, mess stuff up and so it's really cool to have those things automatically mapped out to your APC or your other control surfaces and just you know flip through all your patches and always have um, those parameters at your fingertips without having to do any extra work um, and it's a really quick and easy way to do it you know, spend an hour one day and just do your entire arsenal of plugins and you're good to go. Um, so that's all I got for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. And I will see you guys soon.